Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you a profit update for my Bitscap Scalper grid bot that I deployed one week ago. And this particular grid bot was deployed after Bitscap updated the grid step or the grid spacing for their scalper bot originally when they deployed the bot the grid step was only 0.07 percent but they have since upgraded that to 0.1 percent and it does seem to have improved the profitability with that increase in the grid space now, if you're not familiar with how a scalper grid bot operates, it is basically made up of open limit sell and open limit buy orders. And so the red lines and green lines that you see on a chart that make up your grid bot, they represent, in this case, the green lines would be your open limit buy orders and the red lines would be your open limit sell orders. And so you're really looking for volatility when you're deploying one of these scalper grid bots. You want to see price action that is dipping down and then ripping right back up and basically chopping sideways and perhaps trending towards the upside. I have found that to be the most profitable price action for a grid bot in general. And so when this price dips down, you're obviously buying at a lower level. And when the price rips back up, you're basically selling at a higher price and therefore capturing profit. So again, when you're looking at the different pairs to deploy with your grid bot, look for this choppy up and down price action, and that would tend to be a volatile pair that will provide you the best profit. And with that being said, if you'd like to see more details on how I actually selected the pair for this scalper bot, you can check out the video where I actually deployed this bot and I will drop a link in the description down below. While you're at it though, you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos when I'm configuring these type of grid bots. Now, before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it's basically an all-in-one automated trading platform, but their main focus really is grid bots at this time. And if you're new to grid bots, you can deploy your grid bot to the demo trading platform before you deploy it to live fire. And in that case, you'll be risk-free because you're paper trading. Now, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to the actual profit update. And so we'll jump over here to the Bitscap dashboard and the pair that I deployed with the scalper bot is Matic USDT that you see down here at the bottom of the screen. And I deployed this bot as you can see seven days, one hour ago. And my average daily profit for the grid bot itself was half a percent per day in profit. Now, that's not actually too bad for a scalper bot because these grids are extremely tight and so you're selling at a much smaller profit than you might be with, say, the S-Bot. And in the near future, I am going to actually deploy a scalper bot and an S-Bot pretty much at the same time and do kind of a battle of the bots with those two bots. So again, now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss that video where I compare which one of those two bots is more profitable. And to compare profitability, back when the scalper bot first came out, I deployed essentially four different scalper bots. And you can see none of those scalper bots achieved a half a percent profit per day, even though the price action for the pairs I deployed were somewhat straight up. You can see my actual change percentage, which actually takes my bot profit plus the change in the price of the actual asset that I was trading. And with Theta, you can see I hit a 26% profit and I closed that bot on November 23rd and my bot profit was 2.75% for a eight day period. So again, just about a week. And so the slightest change in the grid step from 0.07% to 0.1% definitely does seem to have improved the profitability of the scalper bot. And you can see I deployed this particular bot back here and the price of Matic went up kind of went sideways, sold off, went back up, dipped down, and ever since has been pretty much going up with small retracements. So again, this might not be the perfect ideal chop I would like to see from this, but there's definitely volatility here where the price action is spiking up and dipping back down only to recover and go back up. And overall, the price is obviously trending up. And so again, this actually helps the profitability of this particular grid bot. Now, if we come down here to the bottom corner of the screen and click on the details button, that will pop up the actual details for this grid bot. And you can see my initial funds. I deployed this bot with basically 500 USDT. And when I deployed the bot, it 
purchased 41 Matic in order to have Matic to sell if the price went straight up, which when I first deployed the bot, the price did actually just go straight up. And so it had some Matic to sell the moment the bot was deployed. And then it held 423 USDT in reserve for when the price went back down, it could be buying that dip. And had I just bought the 41 Matic, kept my USDT and held and never sold at this point today, if I sold right now, my profit would be right around five and a half percent. And so in this case, the buy and hold strategy at the moment would be more profitable than the grid bot strategy, but I would have to sell right now for that to actually apply. You don't actually realize your profit until you sell. So a lot of you buy and hold trolls out there that say just buy and hold, you're not actually realizing any profit by buying and holding. You won't realize profit until you actually sell. So right now, my actual profit, my true P&L, disregard this bot profit, a grid bot will always generate profit because it only sells for a profit. So this actual bot profit does not represent your actual P&L. The current funds represent your true P&L. And why that actually represents your true P&L versus bot profit is because I currently hold 59 Matic. And so right now, my overall realized profit, if I were to sell right now, would be 3%. And that is taken into the account of the current price of Matic, along with the USDT that the bot currently holds, and thus given me a value of 515 USDT or a P&L of around 15 USDT. And so with that being said, this strategy has produced around 3% profit in a one week period. That's not APY. That's actually one week's worth of profit is 3% if I sell right now, which I'm going to do. And so if I jump back over to my dashboard and click on the close button, I now have the opportunity to close out the bot and cancel all open orders or I can actually sell at the market price. And really to capture this 3% P&L, I need to not only just cancel all my open orders, I need to sell at the market price. So I click confirm and it, the bot is stopping. It's successful, the bot has been canceled. And if we jump back over here to my spot history, you can see that bot has been closed out with a profit of 3% in one week. Now, you might be wondering, why did I actually close this bot down? It was actually performing all right for a scalper bot. And I was basically just doing a live fire test for this particular scalper bot since BitScap had changed the grid step. I still think the S bot will outperform the scalper bot. But again, I will do a battle of the bots on the two in the near future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Bitscap in the description down below and you can get started for free and you will be upgraded to the pro plan during that free trial. So with that all being said, at the end of the day, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.